So, is this a hammock camper's dream accessory or just a gimmick? Hello. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Feels like a long time since I've done this. I don't know why, it's only been a week or so. I'm not actually camping tonight, unfortunately. But I have been to Aldi. As you already know. As you've already seen from the thumbnail and whatever else. And uh, yeah, got myself one of their sleep suits. So this is not a review, but it's just my initial thoughts. Um, so if you're watching this on Friday when it goes out, these will be in your local store right now. So stick around and we'll uh, have a look at it together. So I've just come down to my local woodland. Uh, yeah. And if you've seen any of my videos before, there's a good chance you would have seen this woodland, especially for setting up hammocks. Because it's perfect. It is a bit muddy, so where do I want to be? I'm thinking. Normally I'd go down there and out of the way a little bit. So I may not be sleeping here tonight, but we're still gonna do the obligatory sit test. So as I said before, this isn't a review video. It's just a first look. Um, I can't stay out tonight, unfortunately. Otherwise I'd be in it tonight. So as of, it's one of Aldi's special buys, one of their middle middle section aisles. You've probably already seen it in the shops or already, already seen it in the magazine. Um, I seen it last night and thought I've got to buy one. So, Adventure Ridge sleep suit. I went for a large and apparently a large uh, fits. There you go. Someone who's five foot nine to six foot three. As you can see, zippered opening at feet, fully insulated head and body, side ventilation, lightweight, lightweight and compact. I'm not so sure about the compact bit, but it's definitely lightweight to be fair. Uh, I think I read somewhere it's 1.7 kilograms, I think I read. There we go. 1.7, that focus. Like I say, I'm not sure about the compact bit because that's the difference. That, that is my summer sleeping bag. And that's the, that's this thing. I mean, it's huge. It's not fitting in my bag anytime soon. So why did I buy it? So, to be honest, so if you've ever slept in a hammock, in a sleeping bag, you'll know it's really difficult and I'll show why. Yeah, so if I'm a glamorous assistant comes in, just gonna show the difference in how it is. If you've never got into a sleeping bag in a hammock before, it's not as easy as we make it look. Obviously, something like that. But obviously when I sit down now, the whole hammock, the whole sleeping bag is going to sort of compress in. So it's, it's really difficult. So, you're going to have to kick your head up there and kick your feet down there. And then, oh, swing in.
So the way I do it anyway is get my feet in. Rob, it's turned off. It's all right, it's fine. Oh. Just touch the screen. Get my feet in. Zip halfway up. And then kind of like wriggle this bit from yeah. underneath me. Oh! Poppy. Something like this. But once you are in. <laughs> once you are in, it's it's comfortable. I promise. Something like that. But as you can appreciate, hopefully, when nature calls in the middle of the night, it's not much fun. So do all that in reverse and then get back in again. So hopefully that's where something like this sleep suit will come in handy. So let's see how they pack it. I've had a proper look. Bearing in mind it's very muddy here, so I don't really want to. I want to try and keep it on this. On this, I want to try and keep it on here so that's like, as best I can. Okay, let's do this thing. I am going to use a hammock just to sit down. Just like I say, just purely because it's muddy on the floor, I don't really want. Also, bear in mind, we're in the middle of summer now. So, my car on the way here is so at 26 degrees. For us here, it's about as good as it gets. Hey up, on my hands. There you go. What is that shot? So my <laughs> hands are actually zipped up, so. If I unzip that one. Looks like you can unzip here as well. Is that it? Hey. Yeah, it's a sort of vent I think this is a ventilation. That's for ventilation. Ventilation that size. Obviously your hands will go in. And I'm not sure what's going on up here. What's going on up here? I've got a hood. I am sweating. That hood feels. Oh, there we go. Broke it already. I say broke it. It's just. It's just. Yeah. It got a bit heavy-handed, but the the hood is very small. It's very small. Yeah, there's nothing on it. Anyway, let's get in the hammock. Okay, I'm just being told by my glamorous assistant. I have some more. Okay, so we've got full body ventilation, you know, for uh, when nature calls in the middle of the night. So, let's get in here. <laughs> Whoa, it's very slippery. Oh. Weird, it's very. I don't know. Zip the hands up. So there's no zips on the inside of these hands. So there's only on the outside. So you can't. 
I'm not sure how I'll zip myself in now. However, with the power of editing, here we go, let's have a go. There you go, just about done it, managed to zip yourself in. However, it's very strange. What do we think? <laughs> I'm is not it, convinced. Is this, is this a game changer for hammock camping or just a gimmick? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'm not going to stay in it too long because I am sweating. However, it's not really a fair test for the suit because, like I say, middle of summer. Um, I think the comfort rating said seven degrees. We all know you've got to take that with a pinch of salt. Um, I just about managed to unzip my hands from the inside. Oh, so. My assistant is going to talk you through the suit, I think, because I can't really see what's going on. What's going on? So, so you've got two zips. Full on. So this can come undone. Oh, oh. And it'd be like a... Oh, there you go. Didn't know that. But I don't know what you do with the extra bit. There you go. So then completely folds down. Should we go back up? I think that's pretty much it, really. So what, what we got on here? So here we go. So comfort rating seven degrees, transition raise, risk range minus twelve. That's that's pretty good actually because there you go, you walk around the campsite at night time. Okay. Just been told my feet might unzip as well. There you go. Not a very big zip. Oh, there we go. In fact, big enough to get my feet out anyway. To go up the leg? No. Just round to there. Just a mouth size hole. There you go. So you could walk round campsite. You could walk round camp, I guess. If it's cold. If it's cold, yeah, walk round camp. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and uh, I'll see you next week.